today. You are, yes, you're right on the same page. Now, Alicia, you came highly nominated by our friend Jill, um, Jillian Lister or Farrington Lister. Oh, so she's Jillian's a great person. She is. She is. So um, we are really excited to have you on today and to meet you through a computer screen. <laughs> Absolutely. It's my pleasure. Yay. Right. This is so fun. This is great. Well, guys, I I'm going to go ahead and, and jump in if that's okay. I love that. And then Megan and I are actually together today. We're so excited to have Alicia Sanderson joining us. And so guys, if you do not know Alicia, she is the director of the Parks and Rec Department for the town of Emerald Isle and has served in that role for over 30 years. She has just announced her retirement and we know that the town is going to be so sad <laughs> that, 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 that she won't be there with them anymore. But we also know that she is going to be a huge part of the upcoming St. Patrick's Day celebration for the town. And this is going to be kind of your swan song, right? This is the last one that you'll do. Is that right, Alicia? Uh, yes, officially the last one that I'll do. I'm going to be in the area. I'm not going anywhere and Good. hopefully you'll be involved in my community. Absolutely. And Alicia, you can be a participant. Next year, you can. Yeah, come I'm kind of looking forward to that. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely, Alicia. So, for folks who are not familiar with this St. Patrick's Day celebration that's put on by the town, put on by Parks and Rec, that you, that, you know, that you're here to talk to us about, what can you tell us about it? Give us a little overview. This is the uh, 30th annual Emerald Isle St. Patrick's Festival. It will be held on March the 12th at Emerald Plantation Shopping Center. That's at 8700 Emerald Drive. Uh, the festival itself features uh, 75 handcrafted or hand authenticated arts and crafts vendors, amusement rides, bagpipers, uh, entertainment on two different stages throughout the day, the Port City Pipes and Drums parading throughout the site all day, of course, corned beef and cabbage, along with many other food vendors, and a beer garden hosted by the Emerald Isle Business Association with all the uh, profits going to local scholarships. That is so cool. That's awesome. So how has this event grown and changed over the years? I mean, have, have you been involved? Um, there, it's been, yes, I've been involved since the inception. Which is so and crazy. Yeah, that's me. That's in, awesome. in, in 1991, uh, our stage was a flatbed truck that we borrowed from uh, LB Page Landscaping. And uh, um, let's see, we had the Marine Corps Band, I believe it was, and a couple of others. Uh, to put it in perspective for you, I think we used two porta johns that year, <laughs> and now we're close to forty. So, uh, if that tells you well, anything, I love measuring events in porta johns. This is that's a true <laughs> measure of success. <laughs> yes, absolutely. You've made it forty porta johns, Alicia. Uh, yeah, that's so good. I love that. that. That makes perfect sense to my brain too. So, so it, it so, should. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. So, what are some of your kind of favorite things about the event? I mean, walk us through. If if, if you've never been there before, what do people need to know? Um, don't miss the bagpipes. Okay. Port City Pipes and Drums are awesome. Um, if you've never been, make sure you have ID with you because you won't be allowed into the beer garden, which is where the main stage is. You have to be 21 to enter that, whether you're drinking or not. Okay. Um, and there will be Coastal Beverage will have everything from Miller Lite to White Claw to wine available for sale in there. And some great bands, including uh, Spare Change, The Mad Fiddler, Monica James Band, The Ashley LaRue Band, Heart Stop. Then on the secondary stage, we have Naked Knees, Justin Castellano, and Pamlico Joe. Nice. So really looking forward to that. And uh, couldn't do all this without our sponsors. Uh, primarily, I want to thank the Crystal Coast Tourism Development Authority as our title sponsor, as well as 34 North of Cedar Point as our presenting sponsor, and many, many others who make this possible. So uh, the purpose of the event is that initially the mission was to give a boost to the shoulder season. And as both of you know, um, I'm not so sure we have a shoulder season anymore, anymore right. but it's still a great boost to kick off the busy season. It's uh, the preparation time. So we still look forward to doing that. Look forward to drawing more people to the area. We expect um, in excess of 30,000 people for this event this year. That's awesome. And you might've mentioned this and I might've missed it, but in terms of can people buy tickets beforehand, can they show up right there and, you know, purchase a pass to get in? How does that work? Um, they can. There's a 
two different, two different things for tickets. On Friday night, we'll do a preview ride for the amusement rides. That'll be from five until 10. And there's a, a set price on that. A $17 armband gets you unlimited rides. On Saturday, that's just ticket prices and there won't be any pre-sales. You would just show up. Cool. We are not doing pre-sales on the beer tent um, because you do have to show that identification and get banded uh, right. in order to enter that area. But we will be accepting, accepting PayPal, credit cards, Venmo, all those things once inside. Perfect. So just show up and you're good. Yes. Love show that. Up with an ID. With, with an, an ID. ID. <laughs> Y'all, if you go there without an ID, we just can't help you because at least <laughs> very clear. And I'm really wow. sorry I can't help you. <laughs> <laughs> So My good. My friends in ALE wouldn't be too happy. Yes. No, you don't mess with the ALE. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> exactly right. no. And uh, parking for the event is available all along uh, Highway 58. There is limited parking in Emerald Plantation Shopping Center. They graciously give up that parking lot as the festival site. And we couldn't have this festival if it wasn't for that venue. And it's just a very intimate um relaxing venue with a lot to see and do. We're excited to add a chain reaction uh, action sports this year. That's a BMX exhibition and they're being presented by South Swell Surf Shop and by the Beach Realty. Cool. So uh, we're, we're excited to add that to the festival this year. And I, I've shared my dreams for what this can become in the future. And I think there's a lot of onboarding with that. So I think you can continue to see the festival grow. That's so awesome. That's Man, so awesome. And it's so cool to hear about how it's grown under your stewardship, Alicia. That's just so cool. Amazing. It, my, my team's stewardship. <laughs> Absolutely. I don't do anything by myself. I'm the stewardship of your team. That's exact. Very well said. And thank you for the reminder. That's exactly right. Which just goes to show why you have been so beloved and why you have, have I mean, seriously, why you've made the impact that you have. So thinking about that moving forward, what is it that you're going to miss the most about, about your role? The people. Yeah. 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 That, uh, I, you, you've impacted a lot of lives. It, it, it's apparent from the folks who have, have talked to us about you and everything like that. And it's clear that you are great at what you do and love what you do. So, uh, that's a awesome response to people. Yeah. Oh, love that. Oh, Alicia. Well, listen, we are just so grateful that you've been here with us today and, and, you know, it's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. And do you want to ask Alicia a final question before we let her? I do, Alicia. We ask all of our guests this final question. It can be big picture or it can be something as small as a cup of coffee, but we are curious what has been saving your life lately or what have you been grateful for lately? That's actually pretty easy. It's, it's a choice every day. Mm -hmm. um, and I choose to see the positive. Oh, I love that. Oh, man. That's a good one. Okay. Such a good one. It's always we, a and you know what? We couldn't agree more. That's exactly right. You get to decide. Yeah, it is. Because there's, there's always an opportunity to make a positive difference. And we, we can each do that. It is a choice. I'm going to adopt that as what's saving my life today, too. Same. Okay. Same. You're so welcome. Sure, you know, <laughs> and what a, what a cool thing. I mean, you know, that, that you're, you know, I love it when the audio and the video match, right? I love it when what you say and what you do are in alignment and clearly that's exactly who you are. So thank you for letting us spend some time with you and congratulations on thank the big you. impact you've made in your career and congratulations in next year, being able to go and enjoy that beer tent. <laughs> in all uh, the maybe I'll see you there. Catch us if you can. That's exactly right. Thanks, Alicia. We appreciate it. Happy Friday. Thank you. Bye now.